Well, it's Friday morning. And we're on our way to uh, pick up some supplies, some groceries. Where are we heading first? Well, first of all, good morning, YouTube. And she forgets. He just gets right to business. <laughs> yeah, what's up, cats? <laughs> first, we have to stop at CVS. Stop and pick up some prescriptions, and then we're going to the pet store, and then we're going to Walmart. And I took the day off today because we had all this stuff to get done, and we're going camping again. So we leave this afternoon, we hook up the trailer, and we head out camping. So what we've been doing is uh, taking these little weekend jaunts, and we're really liking it. It's working out pretty well. You know, instead of taking like one two-week vacation, which there's nothing wrong with that either, or even a whole week, which we have a week coming up here, but uh, it's nice with, when you do these little weekends, little weekend getaways, where we just go to some state parks that aren't too far away, you know, within an hour or so of our place. And then we can enjoy camping over and over again. And it's like these little mini vacations. So that's what we're doing this weekend, going camping again in uh, Findlay State Park. It's not too far away from home. V's going to take her own car. Well, because I'm combination camping and I'm our own pet sitter, I'll have to drive home and take care of the animals. We're having trouble with our cat, Jack Black, who wants to pee everywhere. So I've got to make sure I come home and check around. I don't want to let that sit. Change their food, change their water, clean the litter boxes, probably take him for a walk, and then I'll drive back to camping. We were using the pet sitter, and that was costing us, what? $15 a visit. 15, about 15 bucks a day for a pet sitter to come in feed the cats, clean the litter boxes, but uh, she was doing like minimal. She's barely doing whatever she had to do, like in and out. No, no detail. So we would come home and find these messes, big messes. So. Like she was just oblivious to it. I would come home and see it right away. I could smell it. You could see like cat puke on the carpet right inside the front door that was all dried up and uh, you know she had to walk that way and step right over it and it's like come on spend uh, five minutes clean up the mess so that we don't have to come home and, and deal with it that's what, what you're getting paid for I mean even if she at $15 even if she spent one hour at our house that's 15 bucks an hour it's not, it's not bad we're just spoiled because a couple years ago we had an older couple, a husband and wife, that came to pet sit, and they were absolutely phenomenal. I came home and my house smelled better than when I left. They were just fabulous. Well, now they've retired, so next year I'll find a different pet sitter. All right. Well, it's hot today. It's only 72. Yeah, it's Boy, like it feels like 90. It's like all foggy and muggy. It almost seems like it's going to rain, but the sun's like trying to get through. And it's just gray and and really muggy and, and damp out. The, the grass is like wet with dew. So, but we don't care. We're going camping anyways, no matter what the weather is. Bring it on. It's just another adventure for us.
This is one of my least favorite chores, doing groceries. We have to run to two different stores because Wally World has horrible meat usually. So we come to Giant Eagle to get our meat. But we get our other stuff at Walmart because the prices are better. So now we're at Giant Eagle to get meat. It just seems like our little town is such a cluster. No matter where you go in this town, it's like being at Walmart. You could be the only one on the road or the only one in the aisle at Walmart. Someone has to come breathing down your neck and it's the same thing on this road in Medina. It's like the town just grew so big and there's not enough room for all the people and it's like nothing but a huge cluster. Bunch of hillbillies. Mouth breathers, you see. Bunch of mouth breathers. <laughs> it's bad. We shouldn't be so judgmental. It's not nice, but we just call it like we see it. <laughs> Are you ready to knock this rest of the shopping I out? I am, because I want to go camping so bad. All I right. need a break. Let's hit it. And I don't even Lunch time. Oh, I'm burning up. Carrying stuff back and forth to the trailer. Now we're gonna eat. What do we got? Some fresh sliced garden tomato. Yeah, some Swiss cheese and some pastrami. And that's about it. Something to do. <coughs> oh, macaroni salad. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, yummy. <coughs> yeah, that was all me yesterday morning. My wife made macaroni salad. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's my favorite. Especially on a hot summer day, huh? Oh, yeah. It tastes good with almost anything. With the sandwich, with hamburgers, hot dogs, anything. It's a great side dish. Um, I'm going to make my sandwich. Ready to eat? I've been researching a little bit on these backup cameras. Um, you know, you hook them up to your car or your RV, and uh, it helps you to see what's behind you. So there's different options. I see anywhere here, fifty bucks, thirty bucks, a uh, hundred bucks. I don't even know where to start, though. You know. So they say wireless, and then the pictures I'm looking at have wires. So what are you buying? Something that's made in Japan or something? I don't know. I mean, here's one that <coughs> says wireless. It doesn't show any wires, but this one up here says wireless, and it's got wires. So what exactly are you buying? I don't know. It's got to come with more instructions or something. And some of them just like are a rear view mirror. It's like you wire it right up. Uh, this one here, it's just a rear view mirror. You hook it right up. You, I guess you take your mirror off and you replace it with that one. I don't know. I wouldn't want to get that far into it. Um, but if it was just something I could hook onto the uh, bumper and then stick the monitor up on the dashboard and have, you know, that wireless thing. That'd be cool. Um, you're going to have to look into that. $79 wireless IR rear view backup camera with night vision, a 7-inch monitor for an RV or a truck. Um, okay. I guess it wouldn't work in a, in a uh, Silverado. Got to be a tractor trailer or an RV. Whatever. If anybody uh, has any uh, experience with these cameras, I would appreciate some tips because I don't even know where to start. I hate to spend my money and get something that's not going to work, you know. So anyway, <clears throat> the, uh, the trailer's all packed up, ready to go. Uh, Check-in time's at 3 o'clock, though, so we got a couple hours, and it only takes us... Uh, you know, maybe 20 minutes to get there from, from here. So I'm going to go out and get the trailer all hooked up here in a minute and uh, make sure that's ready to roll. And then 
we might even get there a little early. I don't think they'll kick us out, you know, if we, if we get there 15, 20 minutes early before 3 o'clock. If nobody's in the campsite, I'm sure they're just going to give us our ticket and let us go ahead and go in. So, I guess I should get busy. I could sit here and play on the computer all day, but i got other better things to do. Camping, for instance. Sitting around a campfire. We got plenty of food packed, clothes. Um, if it rains, we're good to go. No problem there. Um, entertainment, we got games, puzzles, uh, everything. Um, V's got her crafting stuff, her knitting, and whatever she can do. So if it rains, we're good to go. And tomorrow, and my mom and dad are going to come out and have a picnic with us. So we'll do that too. Looking forward to it. So, um, see you there.